Alright, what is up Transformer fans? This is a video review of Transformers Prime Cyberverse Legion Class Smokescreen. Here he is in his little uh, car mode. It's very nice. It's a really odd color. It's it's like the uh, the color that Sideswipe was from the movie. He's got a really nice kind of silvery metallic paint to him. And I'll show that off in robot mode. But uh, to compare him, here he is with Wheeljack. So you can see this is a white figure. And this is how he looks compared to him. So you can see the color differences there. But uh, I'm going to compare how he looks with Sideswipe from the movie later. But anyway, he's a nice little car mode. Um, he's got a lot of blues on him. Uh, really nice red Autobot logo there. Really nice, kind of painted in everywhere, basically. He's painted in the headlights, windshield. Um, he's got really nice checkered detail here on the 38 nice blue wheel wells right here black wheels the back is unfortunately not painted but there's a lot of detail in there so there's that he does have a peg on top where you can put his chain bolter which is not unlike the other cyberverse weapons it's the same kinda of saw looking thing with the gun on top but that can plug in up top right here we can put it in on either side, you know, the, the yeah. So I went ahead and compared him already, but here he is again with Phil Jack, so you can see the size. So he's a car. Uh, transformation is really interesting. It's a lot different than the other ones. It, you take the legs and you kind of untab them. And you take them off from around here. Alright, then you got to come back here and you got to split the what is supposed to be the rear windshield but is not painted so I'm assuming he doesn't have a real windshield because he's a robot and take the doors out to the side like so then that gives you the clearance to drop this midsection well you're supposed to bring it all like the whole front of the car down and around like so so now it's you can see it's in there and then you can flip the feet down the lower half is the same as Bumblebee technically but then, this is where it gets interesting. You go ahead and take this back piece here, and this kind of comes back and reveals the head. And um, then, what you want to do is to give him his car door chest thing. You rotate these panels. They're, they rotate individually, and they rotate back. And they actually click in to the windshield. You'll hear it click like that. So now, all this is locked into place on his chest. It's all nice and solid and tight and uh, that's not going anywhere so then you want to swing the arms they're underneath the door you want to swing them up and it gets a nice click and then it kind of slides into the groove between the wheel and the wheel well so once again I'll show you you take the arm and it's under here and it swings around nice click and then it tabs in right there and friction sticks and then there we have it here's smoke screen in his robot mode very very nice he um, doesn't really reveal anything Except for the shins, I mean, other than that, he is the essential, uh, the same toy basically. Uh, here he is next to his buddy Bumblebee, so you can see that there. Looks very nice like that. And I went ahead and grabbed Sideswipe, so you can see they are a very similar color. As a matter of fact, it might be no, the smoke screen one is a little bit. It's got a little bit more of a dark. To it. This is side swipes a little lighter. So you can see they are about the same color here, but um, not exact. So, anyway. And then I was going to compare them to his hero, Optimus Prime. As you can see, they look very good together. So, there's that. Now, we'll take a look at the face. Unfortunately, I'm having a little trouble identifying this as smoke screen. Just because there's a lack of paint, his head doesn't really look like smokescreen unless it's painted like smokescreen. So, um, that kind of stinks. Instead of just, you know, having a gray head, I kind of wish he'd have been painted up a little bit. But anyway, he is very nice. Um, Posability wise, you get a full ball jointed shoulder here. Nothing at the waist or the chest because that all locks into place solidly. You get a hip rotation here and then the foot rotation here. And here you can see what I was talking about. It's very similar to the bumblebee leg there. I mean, it is, it is the exact same. 
basically leg. You could swap them and they would probably he'd probably transform fine. So, um, cool. So I really like him. He's 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 pretty legit. I wish his face was a little bit better painted, but he can hold his chain bolter. Be like pew pew, you know. But um, yeah, he's he's cool. Um, I really do. I really do like these Cyberverse guys. They're just they're really interesting. I'm I'm having a hard time trying to think of what to say, but other than that, he's good, you know. And I just wish there was a little more paint on this guy. So, um, that's that, I guess. So, anyway, thanks for viewing this video, and goodbye!